Hello everyone, my name is Angelica Dominich and I'm a trainer here at Pragmatic Works. If this is your first time visiting our YouTube channel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below so that you can stay up to date with all of us here at Pragmatic Works and the videos that we post. Today, I want to talk to you about endorsing your Power BI content. What does it mean to endorse a Power BI report or data set? What are my options and how do I do this? So that's what we're gonna discuss here in this video. So let's go ahead, let's head straight to the Power BI service and see our options. So there are two options to endorse your Power BI content. You can promote Power BI content or you can certify it. Now, both of these options are going to increase the visibility of the content you've endorsed. So what do I mean by this? Well, if we go into our One Lake Data Hub, we will see all of the data that's available to us, to me. And so I will see any data set that has been shared here in the Power BI service by one of my colleagues, someone within my organization, or data sets that I have created and I have available to me in my Power BI workspaces. Now, when you are getting started, when you are first thinking about endorsing your content, specifically for data sets here, sometimes this means when you are looking at your data sets, there are many data sets that are available to you in the data hub. So if you are coming to your Power BI service and you are looking for a specific data set, trying to locate it, but maybe there are many, many data sets, even hundreds that are shared with you. Of course, if you know the exact name of that data set, you can just search, but what if there are multiple data sets with similar names? What if there are multiple versions of them? And over time, they've been updated and passed around by different individuals who are responsible for managing the data set and managing the data model at the source and things before or then publishing and sharing out a Power BI data set to you and others in the organization. So it can become very saturated in here, making it more difficult to locate the correct data set you need or you your colleagues need to build Power BI reports. So what can you endorse in Power BI? Here in Power BI, it is possible to endorse data sets, data flows, reports, and your Power BI apps. So for this video, we're gonna keep it simple and we'll just look at endorsing a data set here. But in order to endorse our Power BI content, first, we have to have permission enabled for us to do so. So if you are trying to endorse Power BI content, either a report or a data set, and this feature is not available, it is grayed out to you, for you, then this has not been enabled by the Power BI tenant administrator. So you will want to contact that individual within your organization and see if it's possible for this feature to be enabled for you. Now, there are a couple of options for your data sets here. So you can see that we have the option to have no endorsement, we can have promoted data sets, and we can have certified data sets. So I'm gonna go over to a workspace that I have here with lots of different reports and data sets shared out here. And currently you can see there are no endorsements. Nothing has been endorsed here. Now let's imagine these are different versions of similar data sets here and I've gone through and cleaned these up and got them ready. And I have one data set that is absolutely ready to go, and that's this one down here. And I want to go ahead and let others in my organization know this data set is ready to go. So what we can do with that is we can select the ellipses, and then we can go into the settings for that data set that we want to endorse. Now, once you open up your data set settings, you will then see endorsement and the options available to you to endorse. Now, you can change the options here if it is enabled for you to promote a specific data set or you can certify a data set. So promoting a data set lets others know that this data set is ready to go. So maybe you are the data set owner 
and you've gone through the necessary steps needed to clean and prepare the data and you know make sure your data model is ready to go and optimize for reporting and now you can share this with others who can then download that data set connect it to a power bi report file and begin building out a report so you can promote it you can also certify it now this option is considered to be a slightly higher distinction than promoting a data set so you will see the difference between the two here in just a moment once we promote a data set as well as certify a data set you'll be able to tell the difference so because a certified data set is considered to be a higher designation than promoting it this feature shouldn't necessarily be enabled for everyone in your organization in fact you would want to make sure that the only individuals who are able to certify content are those who are very well versed with the data they know every all the ins and outs with your data set and with the data model and so they know what is needed for this data set for the users who are going to be using and creating reports with the data set and what those users may need to have a well-performing data model so you want to make sure that only authorized users are able to certify data sets because certifying a data set lets others know within your organization that this data set's not only ready to go and ready to uh, build out reports and apps and different items with but that that data set meets the expectations and the criteria of your organization for that data set to be ready to use to be used out in reports that are going to be published and shared enterprise wide. So this is something that you want to make sure is only enabled for those who are very well versed with the data set. So let's go ahead. Let's make this data set certified and let's make sure that it is discoverable. We'll go ahead and apply this here. Now let's also go into a, another data set here. I'll just select this report navigation data set. And for this data set, I'm gonna select promote to promote this data set. And then let's just take a look at what this is going to show us now. So I can go back to the workspace. And now here, when I sort, all of the content of my workspace by endorsement, you will see that certified content is going to be listed above your promoted content. Again, I have this feature enabled. I am able to certify and promote content. So that did not provide me any roadblocks. I did not have an issue here. But in the event that you try to certify your content and it does not let you, you can try to request that access from your Power BI tenant administrator. If we also go to our data hub now and take a look at our data that has been endorsed, we can sort our data here that has been endorsed and you will see the certified data sets will be listed at the top above these promoted data sets as well as the ones that have no endorsement at all. So you can see how it separates these out and how it kind of ranks the data sets here based on those endorsements that you have indicated. We can also choose to have the endorsement featured on the user's home page. That way we're pushing it to the top, we're pushing it, you know, kind of in their face, making it more visible to those report users, to our colleagues, to individuals in our organization who want to have access to see the content that is has been certified and endorsed. All right, thank you so much for joining me in this video. I hope you found this video helpful in understanding what endorsement of Power BI content is, what your options are. If there are options that are not currently enabled for you, maybe seeking out your Power BI tenant administrator, asking for that access, and getting that endorsement options opened up for you if you are the individual who should have access to fully endorse your content, whether that's to promote the content or to certify the content. If you want more content from us here at Pragmatic Works, other than what's available here on our YouTube channel, make sure to check out the link in the description below to gain access to our on-demand learning platform, where we have courses on all of the tools inside of the Power Platform, as well as courses solely focused on DAX, 
Power Apps Power Automate Teams project, just to name a few. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.